just had them chops when you think about it. Only thing I know is every day I gotta make a profit. Probably really from the block when you think about it. There was always fucking cops when you think about it. All the niggas had them chop, 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 chops. My homies all might have a dad, but they had a coach. They never gave us dope, they just gave us hope. They been knew the streets was dirty, but they gave us soap. So when I'm talking OGs, them the ones I quote. I don't go to church, the streets taught me more than the Bible. Grew up with so many rivals, we should study survival. They be talking in the cut, but they cut out of rivals. We just trying to run it up, we ain't trying to go viral. They fuck me up when the real nigga died of a coochie. There's more pussy than sushi, why everybody love Lucy? And every bitch can't touch my dick, had to learn to be choosy. My boo bougie and their heart is soft as a boo. Yeah. If you got it for free, you ain't get it from me There's a tag on everything, hope you like what you see I feel back to let niggas get their numbers off Well, I'm back and this is just to start the summer off Only thing I know is every day I gotta make a profit Profit really from the block when you think about it It was always fuck the cops when you think about it All the niggas had them chops when you think about it Only thing I know is every day I gotta make a profit Profit really from the block when you think about it It was always fuck the cops when you Man, what's good, man? Y'all know who it is, man. Mm -hmm. It's your boy, Big Grizz. We back with another episode, man. We took some time off, a little couple days. But we back, man. We back. It was man. back. It was only right, man. And we come back. Y'all know Smoke Sessions with Grizz, the podcast. Grab your lighters, your blunts, your bongs, your duchess. Mm -hmm. Whatever you smoke it with, feel that shit, man. I got a special guest in the building, man. Uh, a doc legend, man. Somebody that everybody man. everybody I had from the hood on here was like, you gotta get dude on here. Mm -hmm. So... It was only right, man. Without further ado, man, we got my boy Dude Music in the building. Welcome to the smoke sessions, man. No, we definitely getting smoky in the session. For sure. We get smoky in the session. It was only right I bring you on here. Like I said, everybody been telling me that I had on here. You know, Alize was like, yeah, you got to get Dude boy here. You know what I said? Uh, what else? Uh, hey, Nacho, you got to get Dude boy here. Sir, you know Nacho, what I said? Nacho, we going crazy. So. What you got? What you smoking on in the smoke session, though? Or this, yeah, and I got this from my cousin. Mm -hmm. I don't. I think this is some. He said purple something. I don't know, man. You know these names now. Got a favorite out here. You got a favorite out here that I smoke. I yeah, like. Yeah. What you go for? I you like know. OG. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, mean, I like. You know what I'm saying? Like that OG. Mm. This some GG four. I ain't gonna lie, man. I be fucking with the gorilla, the gorilla, gorilla shit, man. I ain't had gorilla in a minute. Gorilla, you gotta get stuck to the wall, man. But I wanted to get you on here, that man, because you do so much. Yeah, true, true. I so I, I, I don't know where I want to start, man. First, you know, talk about, I want you to first talk about where you from and just growing from, up in the hood, man. Let them know. Word. I'm from bred up, do music from bred up. Shit, growing up in the hood. I would say it's like every other hood, but as old as I get, as I realize it ain't. Nope. Motherfucker, it's, it's, it's wild. You look, you want to hear tracks at night, gunshots at night. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Motherfucker, man. Just, I mean, pick your, pick your people. You, you, I mean, you pick your people when you're young. Early. You got to do it early. That's how that's how it works for real. Because back when I, I mean, it ain't like that right now, but back when I was growing up in the hood, Red Up was down near like a group of seven, seven to ten families. You feel me? Yeah. And everybody was cousins, you know what I mean? It wasn't too much people that wasn't related to somebody in the hood. So uh -huh. it's that type of shit, that, that type of neighborhood. So what did you first stumble upon music, man? Mm. What stumble age? Up music. I can't say an age, but what I could say is uh, Dumb Young. Mm -hmm. I was motherfucking uh, Mace, my first favorite rapper ever, Mace. Mm -hmm. I used to fuck with his shit. I used to be Dumb Young. I used to be rapping about silly shit, recording with my cousin. Like, uh, we was rapping about shit. Like, that was cool to us. Dumb, yeah. We talking about pop gum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shit, I don't feel like yeah. shit like that. Yeah, Very much like that. That's where that's where it started though. That bad boy shit, seeing all of that flashy shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew that. I knew like pop, Run DMC, and all that shit. But I'm saying like when I started to like hold up, like I want, I want parts. Mm -hmm. That's when. So around that time, so when did you first start recording yourself? Shit. 
Like all the way back then, it was off of yeah. the, it was yeah, but look, like it was like it wasn't no studio type shit. Mm -hmm. It was like a motherfucking um, little radio. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We had two of them. You have two radios. You push play on one, and it's recording out loud. You know what I mean, so you push play on one, and that's the beat. And you you push record on the other one, rap that shit. <laughs> Don't fuck up. We gotta start it over. Like that, you gotta do the one take type shit. Chorus and all. Dang. Mm -hmm. Chorus and all. And that's how I started. Just over my, well, with me, over with my cousins. Well, with my cousin just recording that that shit. Then that led over to doing it at the crib. Mm -hmm. And uh, fucking doing it, end up doing it with my niggas. Doing my sister. Me and my sister was, uh, well, you know, when you young and bad as hell and get on punishment. Mm -hmm. Me and my sister get to making music. Just in the room, just making music. Swear to God. So did any of your family do music? Like your mom or dad was they? You know, is that like ain't nobody play no instruments nah, or nobody in the choir or nothing? It just, nah, it, was it, was straight, it was straight. It was straight. It was independent uh, idea, man. That's what it was. Straight up, like nobody in my family that I know was like doing it. But when I, but I mean when I, but when I started doing it, I started to realize people was doing it. Uh, but it wasn't like it wasn't there for me to look up to type shit. You know what I mean? Okay. I always listen to music though. That's just some black people shit though. Like in the house, so everything that's getting done, listening to music. Back then, what did you drop? You know, what did you drop your music on? Like, was there somewhere did or did you you just like put it on a CD or some shit like that? Like, what did back then it wasn't. See, like that's different because when I started rapping, it's different than when I started distributing mm -hmm. my shit. Like when I started to hang. Get my shit out there. We was burning CDs and uh, yeah, we was burning straight burning CDs and putting it on MySpace. Okay. And shit like that. That's what MySpace is going crazy. Yeah, that's what I be. Mean. That's when the motherfuckers uh first started like yeah distributing that shit like putting it out there for people to let's play on their own. Uh -huh. Destroy. Yeah. What year was that? Damn man, I don't know. Whenever MySpace start would start popping off. Niggas was on it from then. Nah, I mean, from the Soldier Boy days. When Soldier Boy you first started. group too, right? So yeah, Real Rap. Real Rap and T. What was the day? Real, Real Rap and T, yeah. When did that start? And who was Shit. the uh, members? The members, it was me, Streets, Young Tights, Craig Mack, uh, originally Grammy, Keish. Uh, hey, I was deep. Yeah, swear, and D Boy was deep. So. Yeah, but that's how. But look though, that's that. That's because it, we was just. That's because we was just friends first. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We go from playing basketball to doing this to doing that. We just doing anything together for real. So it's like nobody ain't out. Yeah. It's just that shit. It wasn't no school shit. It wasn't nothing. It was just friends rapping type shit. And that's how it started. We was uh, motherfucking making shit in the basement. Whether it was up my crib in the basement or we was down Grammy's crib, just making shit. Mm -hmm. uh, Grammy, Grammy was only on the beats for. I was making beats, but I wasn't really making beats. But one thing about me though, when I was making beats back then, I'll make like in a span of three years, I'll make four beats. But there'll be four joints that like ended up or low key singles like uh -huh. in, in, the, in the like I mean. So it was like a sync. Like I was making them a lot, but I wasn't making fucking beats. For them. I was rapping. He was rapping. Hell yeah. So when did you transition into the beats then? Is this recent? Are you like, been doing man, beats for? I've been yeah, I feel but like that's I've the been thing. hearing you about doing beats for a minute. That's though. the thing, though. Yeah, I, I did. I've been doing beats, but I wasn't doing them. I'm saying like, when I say doing them, I'm doing them now. Like I'll get to making like minimum six beats a week. You feel me? Six. Nowadays, but back then I was making minimum six beats and expanded like four years. But I wasn't making. I wouldn't consider myself a nigga that's making beats. I knew how. Mm -hmm. I knew how. Back in the day, my nigga Slice, shout out to DJ Slice, came through with the Slice fucking, uh, on here too. yeah, you gotta get him on here. That nigga came through and gave niggas the program and shit. He gave niggas the recording program too. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah, that, was the, that was the reason why a nigga always really had a studio. It never really always was in somebody else's studio, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. 
So what year you start making? Uh, not doing that, but shit. I'm trying to think, what else I'm gonna ask you about the beats? So what studio do yeah. you work out of? Studio I work out of is yeah. my studio, Good Vibes Studio. Good Vibes. Hell yeah. It's uh, well it's me. It's this me, Young and uh, me, Young Streets and E. Uh, my bro E, you know E. Uh, would I forget his fucking what's it, money making Mitch? Uh. Is it, you got the I see you. I know it. You probably know, but yeah, you probably know my little brother. I'm about to pull him up. Oh wait, wait. I think yeah, Vince. You uh yeah. Yeah, he was on YouTube too. Yeah. Um, but he he about to get back on that shit. He stopped that shit. Yeah, he did start. He started doing the reactions. I seen it. Yep. Yeah. I know you talking about your little brother. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm tripping. So we got the studio. You feel me? And it's like, yeah, that's where we. That's where I'm at now with it. That's mm -hmm. where the beats is coming out of. That's where the music come out of. Record a lot of uh, a lot of good uh, Pittsburgh artists. That's about to boom up. But like, that's a thing too. I wasn't always recording to the public. You feel me? Was it? No. Nah. Like like I say, when it started, I was just happened to be the nigga recording out of the uh, out of us. You feel me? Grammy just happened to be the nigga making the beats. You feel me? So it was like he really wasn't even making. I don't even think he was making beats for other people either. You feel me? Mm -hmm. It was just like. It was just something niggas was doing. It was just the beginning of that shit. So it was like, by the time I start recording, motherfuckers, like, and I was working at Wemo for a little bit and shit. You was working at Wemo? Yeah, in the studio. Okay. Yeah, on the engineer tip. And uh, by the time I was doing that, I already when recorded, like, fucking 10 projects of me and my niggas, you feel me? And it was like, all different voices, you feel me? All different. I had the, all of the practice I needed. Sad singers and all that shit come through, so yeah. Hell of a trainer. You got any projects coming this year? On the music side? On the music side, I do, but it's not even, I'm not even mainly on it. It's a, uh, like I'm following, I'm following back, no, it's like, yeah, it's a collab, and I'm on the, I'm on the beats, and I'm in the background, I mean, I'm in the background. It's a singers, it's a singers, uh, EP. That I'm working with, I'm doing the writing, the beats, and the, uh, and I'll probably be in the, I'll have a verse or two, but I ain't really on it. It's, it's mm -hmm. you know I mean, it's 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 theirs and mine's type shit, not mine's and theirs. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And what kind of beats do you make? Is there any like, is there a range of beats that you make, or you could make it all? Like, say if somebody needed like. Somebody hit you like, yo, dude, I need like that New York drill type beat. Yeah. You, you cook that up? Yeah, I can cook that up. I like shit like that too. I mean, that's why I, I ain't really got too much beats that niggas don't uh, get. Like, I, I still, I be making like, like I said, minimum I make six a week, but like five of them dips be gone. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And I be more so like, I'll have like four of them that I show motherfuckers, like four different ones that I show, show people. Just on some like, just to show them what I could do, and I'll ask like, "What you want though?" And then that's where they tell me what I want, that what they want, and then I fucking go from there. I like that custom shit. You know what I mean, I want to like, and that's right. that, I already know I'd be surprising motherfuckers with that. They ain't never know the yeah. That's far truth. And hey, where's the studio located? You know what I'm saying? On the Mon Valley side. Mon Valley side. Matter of fact, DM Dude Music. If you need a session, yeah, get with me. If you I'll need beats. Link and everything in the description today. Get with that. me. Uh, who who should uh who should the who should I want to ask you this? Mm -hmm. Who should we be on the lookout for? Cause I don't really I ain't gonna mm -hmm. lie, I don't really be tapped into the Pittsburgh music scene besides like you know my peoples and like my little group and shit and like my side and it's like. So right. who who should you know what I'm saying should we be on the lookout for as far as on the music side that you've been working with in the studio with? Yeah, got a couple of people. Uh, Don't even first, just rap. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Uh, Rizzy, definitely look out for Rizzy. Little Rizzy F, look out for this nigga. He dropping shit. Uh, working hard as fuck in the studio. Shit, he just booked a ten hour session. So you already know yeah, he's, he's yeah. working. He's working. Niggas ain't fucking around. Ten hours, yeah, he's working. Niggas ain't fucking around. Uh, who else? Cloud Nine and that motherfucker working like a motherfucker. Look out for Cloud Nine. Shit. Who else? I'm, I'm trying to think of people outside of the people close to y'all expect me uh -huh. for me to say. You feel me? Uh, let me think. Shit. 
on the talent note, on the talent note, Robin, Robin Grayson, mm -hmm. look her up. R and B singer, look her up. And like I said, that singer that I'm about to uh, drop an EP with, Sincere, mm -hmm. look out for that shit. That shit gonna be fucking crazy. 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 <laughs> that shit gonna be crazy. So we got both. We work, man. I work with. A, I work with. A, that's the thing about the Good Vibes Studio. It'll be. It'll be a lot of different shit, man. Think, a lot of different shit. How many artists you think you done worked with throughout Pittsburgh, like in general, like a number wise? Shh, definitely, like it's wild because it's like it's people that you wouldn't consider an artist, though. So I'm gonna mm -hmm. say how I'm, I'm. I'm gonna arrange the question a little bit to how much people I done recorded. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely over two hundred. Definitely over twenty, cause it'll be like this though. There's I recorded this motherfucker. He he came in there for two hours and recorded nothing but little snippets for him to work out to. He's a trainer. Mm -hmm. He's like out every time I put my music up, they take up they my my content up, they take it down, cause I don't own the music. I'm about to just make my own little songs and put them up. I'm like I, I, was, I ain't expect no shit. That's something like I mean, but he came in and did that. That's different. Yeah, that's super different. He came in and did that. And yeah, see, he, he, I want to consider him an artist though, but yeah, I record people like that. Recorded people, uh, it's all kind of motherfuckers I recorded. People that went to that distorted shit. Mm -hmm. That shit was wild. Somebody coming there, like, on that XX, uh, what's his name? XX, it's not Yeah, that, yeah, he, they wanted that type shit. That type of yeah, because that's wild, because all my, like, all my practices, oh, I had to make this nigga shit clear though, you yeah. feel me? And now a nigga come and want shit sounding distorted, but cl like clear, but I mean easy to the ear, you can hear it. I'm like, oh, I yeah, fuck with the challenges. It's different, I mean, different shit. About. Different shit. But um, who else should we uh, have on? Should I bring on the podcast, man? Like, oh yeah, like you, oh yeah, you gotta. Uh, let me see. You gotta bring. You know what I'm saying, I'm not, let me see the people that I named for sure. You gotta bring uh, you gotta bring Zosa Production up here. Zosa Production. Yeah, my upcoming uh, video videographer. Okay. My being you on the pictures and all that. Uh, Grammy as well. Gotta bring Grammy up here. Yeah, I mean, uh, Streets Harden. Gotta bring that nigga up here. Shit. Let me see. Besides the people who are named us. That's 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 who you need. That's that's the people that. <coughs> that's it. Oh no, nah. bring slice up here, like you said too. Yeah, though. slice. Yeah, bring that nigga up here. I mean, razor, bring razor's ass up here. Razor Definitely player. razor. Yeah, I used to work with him back in like that BYP shit. I mm -hmm. did him up here. Yeah, got a funny ass story with him. Well, yeah, bring that nigga up here too. But, uh, yeah, tell them your Instagram and everything once again where they can follow you. Yeah, and follow me. Studio type, all of that. Do music with a Q on everything. And that's what it is. Don't change, do yeah, music. Man, we got a lot coming. This is the first part of your interview, man. I Word. definitely want to tap in later in the year with you. Yeah, we're going to tap See in. what projects you drive, yeah. listen to the music. Yeah, because a, a lot of shit's going to change and shift. Because I got a, a lot of beats out there that mm. from, 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 uh, Local people and some people that's not mean that that's celebrity like, yeah, that's up yeah. there that ain't dropped yet that I, that I ain't dropped yet but I'm guessing they coming though you feel me so oh, hopefully they drop better before the next time we link up so we can yeah, talk about it's that be shit later in the year so yeah. right, and they should definitely come here yeah, this is yeah. gonna be crazy yeah we can even and I'm even thinking we could react to it like, yeah like, reaction like yeah yeah good, man. yeah yeah it's true if I yeah. let you know it's true but yeah. I'm, I'm I figure they they let me know so I'll let you know. Yeah. yeah, man. Make sure y'all tap in. If you're in the city, man, you need music, mm -hmm. you need beats, studio time, whatever, man. Record vocals, anything. Tap in with dude music, man. You know what I'm saying? Support. We on the road to 10K. Yeah, right, man. man. We out of here, man. Appreciate you for subscribing. Believe again, it, man. We out of here, man.